right, so this is a uh, ram pump. Water heater is just for uh, just to, just to hold water. You should have a lake or a stream or whatever. And what happens is, is that it's it's you you've got your water source, which should be a lake or a stream, not a water heater. I'm just doing this for an example. This thing's called a ram pump. It's all, it's, it's, there's no external uh, power supply. There's no electricity, no uh, gas powered engine. It just runs off of gravity. So you got gravity comes through this pipe. Water pushed by gravity, of course, comes through this pipe. This is just a shut off. This is a swing check valve. And this is a swing check valve. So what happens is, is that the water flows through, push, it's just gravity. And so it comes through and it comes up, th it comes up through this ch uh, check valve and, until it builds up enough pressure to, to, to push that, that little flapper in there and that flaps up, stops the water flow from going up. Which it when, when it when it does that it causes like a hammer effect So it so then it flows through this check valve which swings open And it allows the water to go up through here Now when it goes up through this thing, there's a water noodle in here, you know the swimming pool You know noodles that you float on I've got it. I don't know maybe about 14, 15 inches or so in the top. So what happens is when that water comes up through here, it will squeeze that water noodle and, and until that water noodle has had enough and then it will push that water down, back down, and then it'll, it'll have to go, it'll go both ways. It'll go back this way, which will push this flapper and this check valve down so the water stops here and then the only way it can go is this way which goes through the hose up the tree so it goes up there oh God, I don't know 15 foot or so so what you have is if you have uh, your water source is five foot high. It, it'll it, it should push it to 15 feet, so it should be roughly about three times uh, your water source. The height of your water source it should push it three times higher than that. But that's it. The water heater is strictly just for a tank I'm using. But if this is hooked up to a, uh, you don't get a ton of water flow. But it's constant, 24/7. This thing will run 24/7 non-stop, just off of gravity. So you got that little trinkle of water that's running 24/7. Golly, that'll fill up a thousand gallons in, you know, 24 hours, uh, 48 hours maybe. But uh, if you hook this up to a stream or a river, a creek or whatever, it's continuous. It's it's free a uh, free pump. It, it, it doesn't use any electricity, anything. That's it. That is it.